I mean, welcome to Easy English by NC. And today we are going to discuss the question answers and the plot of the story, the portrait of a lady written by Kuswan Singh. We are going to explore the autobiographical approach of the narrator in this story. Now, very, the very first question that you all would like to ask me, sir, what kind of write-up is this the story? Ask, sir, what kind of write-up? Sir, what kind of write-up is yeah, this story? This is purely an autobiographical write-up written by Kuswan Singh. Kuswan Singh has unfolded the beautiful relationship of a grandchild with his grandmother. Particularly, he has written his feelings and emotions towards his grandmother and particularly he has described his grandmother who is deeply religious and a lady who is spiritually beautiful. Spiritually beautiful. In the very first part of the lesson, you will find the grandmother's description. How she seems short, fat, fat and stooped. I mean, uh, stooped back. She is little bent. Yes, she is short height. She is fat, fat, fat and, and bent. Fat. And whenever she walks, she is always walking yes, sir. like a bent body yes, woman. Am I right? Yes, sir. Th secondly, her day to day routine. What were the three things that the great mother did as a routine work? Number one, First is she woke up the narrator early in the morning. She bathed him every day. She fed him with his breakfast. She got him ready for the school. She accompanied the narrator to the village school. And while coming back from the school, she accompanied the narrator to the house. Am I right? On the way, she used to feed the western chapati to the street dogs. This clearly suggests that the grandmother was very kind-hearted. Very kind-hearted. Then you ask, sir, what was the turning point in the relationship of the grandmother and the narrator? Sir, what was the turning yeah, point? Came the turning the point came when the narrator was shifted to the city. Yes, sir. His parents asked the grandmother and the narrator to shift to the city, yes, and there he joined the city yes, school. school. After he had joined the city yes, school. A turning point came in the relation of the grandmother and the narrator. Ask sir how? Sir, how sir? Now the narrator went to school in a motor bus. Yes, sir. No more he walked down. Yes, Secondly, he was taught Western yes, science and music. Yes, he was taught everything in English. Am I right? Yes, sir. The grandmother was not able to help him in his lessons. In his? Yes, sir. So she felt a little bit isolated. She felt a little bit lonely. Though both the grandmother and the narrator lived in the same room, yet she, I mean, always uh, felt a little bit upset because she was not able to help him in his study. On the contrary, in the village, she used to help the narrator in his lessons. So that, that was a, you may call it a break or you may call it a turning point in the relationship of the grandmother and the narrator. Now, I will be asking you a little bit questions. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Uh, your free line. The thought was quite revolting. The thought was quite revolting. Yes, please. The narrator could not believe that uh, his grandmother was young and pretty in his time. Because last 20 years he saw him. Uh, he had seen him. her. He had seen her like old and wrinkled lady uh, in the last 20 years. Very good. For the last 20 years, he had seen the grandmother, the same old and wrinkled lady. Absolutely right. Second question, please. Uh, an expression of pure white serenity. He, uh, he referred to calm, peaceful and uh, the calm, peaceful character of his grandmother. He, Very good. He also compared the grandmother like peaceful, uh, peaceful landscape, uh, landscape. landscape uh, in the mountains. Very good. That's a beautiful answer. You please. Uh, the third question, a small question. Third one. Yes. Uh, what kind of bond did the author and the grandmother share? किस तरह का रिलेशनशिप दोनों के बीच में था? एक गुड रिलेशनशिप, एक फ्रेंडली रिलेशनशिप? Yes. किस तरह का? मतलब the great mother was a very loving and caring parent to the grand child. Am I right? She was loving and caring or not? Yes. Okay. Okay. I am asking you the question. Elucidate the phrase not pretty but beautiful with reference to the chapter. The grandmother may not be look physically pretty, but uh, she was beautiful. Spiritual. Spiritually. My Without goodness, it, uh, what an answer. Always used to count the bits of rosary and uh, she 
She looked like this, and her silver one, locks of hair, locks of hair, over scattered over her untidy, untidy over her face, and they looked like and her lips, and her lips constantly, constantly moved up. in an un inaudible prayer. She went on praying all the time without making any sound, without making any. Sound. This suggests that she was very beautiful spiritually. She may not be physically beautiful, but she was spiritually beautiful. Her soul was, of course, beautiful. Yes, please. Line. The thought was almost revolting. The thought was also the narrator thought in the mind. The narrators, I mean, believe about the grandmother that she had she had been pretty and beautiful once in her youth was not to be believed in. It was revolting. It was why? Tell me. Because. He had seen the grandmother. Uh, he had seen the grandmother for last twenty years. The same old, uh, the same old lady, same. the same old and wrinkly. Be sal so ek hi tarah se dekh raha hai. Be sal usko koi parivartan nahi hua. The grandmother had been an old and wrinkly lady for how many years? Tell me. For last twenty years. This clearly suggests that that she would not have been young and pretty. Young and she may may have been beautiful spiritually, but she could not have been young and pretty. Because this idea, this thought that she can she can be beautiful in her youth was little bit revolting. The narrator could not believe, could not believe. Very good. Next question: What kind of bond did the author and the grandmother share in the village? The grandmother every morning woke him up, very good, carrying him for school. Good. He she was she bathed him every and got him ready for school. See, I come back. I come back. I come back. You to the school. To the school. Uh, and why you are in the school? While he was studying in the school. Very good. Grandmother read the scripture in the temple. In the temple. And when the school was over, they come back together to the home. To the home. And on the way. On the way, she fed the stray dogs. Very good. She fed the stray dogs with a stray chapar. Absolutely right. Uh, what kind of story is the present story? Uh, the portrait of a lady. It is an autobiography written by Kusman. Okay, uh, what kind of lady is the grandmother? So grandmother is the uh, two. What do you describe? Uh, two. What? Grandmother is the. Uh, is she loving and caring? अच्छा वो loving and caring है कि नहीं? हाँ, ठीक है. दो मिनट बोलिए. हाँ, grandmother was the epitome of love and sacrifice. Very good. She, uh, she sacrificed. Uh, sorry, she loves her grandchild the most. Very and good. She uh, walks up. Uh, she shares her uh, beautiful bonding with his grandchild. Uh, grandchild, that is, she walks up in the morning and uh, uh, get uh, and uh, got him ready. Got him ready for the school and uh, five minutes stay at Chapati. Then she uh, super. Some sugar on the Chapati and she uh, also help him. Yes, she also help him in his homework. In his lesson. Very good. Sit down. Very good. You listen. Stand up. Stand up. The grandmother was a deeply religious lady. Tell me two activities of the grandmother which suggest that she was very much religious. Two ऐसे activity बताइए जिससे पता चले कि grandmother बहुत religious थी. पहला, she counted the beads of rosary all the time and she moved her lips in constant prayer. Constant. She didn't speak anything. But her lips went on moving in an inaudible prayer. Say that. Her lips went on moving in an inaudible prayer all the time. She also counted the bits of rosary. This question I will ask you one second. Richa, your question. What was the grandmother's reaction when the you know author was shifted to the city school? The grandmother was She could no longer help him in the lesson or in the studies. Acha, why couldn't she help her in help him in the studies? The city school, and he was taught through English medium, and perhaps he was taught Western science. Was the great mother aware of Western science? Not aware. Not aware. Very good. And tell us something more about the great mother. Tell one more question. Uh, elucidate the phrase "not pretty but beautiful" with the reference. So the, uh, the, 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 the grandmother was not pretty, 
She was looking like a white landscape in among the mountains in winter. Why? Because she was dressed in a spotless white side. And she she looked almost as if I mean she had a spiritual beauty. Spiritual, she may not be physically beautiful, but she was beautiful in her soul. Am I right? Okay, Kaja. Your question. What was the great mother's reaction when the author joined the city school? The author and mother was unhappy because the author was upset because he did not know about English word and Western science. He couldn't hear the narrators in his expressions. What was the most, I mean, what was the most, or what was the saddest thing there in the city school? The narrators and mother was upset to know that there is no teaching about God and religion, scripture. There was no teaching of the scripture. God and religion. Am I right? She was upset, and she was also upset to know that uh, the grandchild, whose one thing was taught, uh, you know, music. According to the grandmother, music had a lewd association with, I mean, an immoral association. She considered music as a lewd association. Lewd. She didn't have good impression about music. Am I right? Okay. One more question. Just tell me. That was the turning point in a fantasy. What was the turning point in their fantasy? In the days, the author and the author and the grandmother were living together. But after living with her parents, shifted to her, followed them to the city. The grandmother and the grandmother. The grandmother and the narrator. Though they shared the same room. Though they shared the same room, but the grandmother could not inform each to the narrator in her relation. Also, also she didn't accompany him to school because the narrator went in motor bus. Am I right? And hardly they had anything to say. She remained in the same room, but she didn't talk to the narrator for a long time. She just felt isolated. She just felt isolated. Though she could not express her feeling, but there was a sign that she perhaps disagreed with the things taught at the school. Not at particularly she disliked the uh, teaching of Western science and music. Am I right? Very good. Yes. Uh, small religious or irreligious. Oh, what do you like about the grandmother? Ki grandmother ke baare mein kya like karti? Uh, she is kind, kind, kind hearted. Very good. Caring, loving and affectionate. Kya isi aap kar sakti hai ki wo apne grandchild ke liye affectionate hai? While in the village, she took every care. She, you know, woke up the narrator every morning. She bathed him, fed him with the breakfast, and got him ready for his school. Am I right? She always accompanied the narrator to the school. And while the narrator studied at the village, I mean, uh, school, she I mean, read the scriptures in the temple because the temple was just adjacent to the uh, village school. So she enjoyed the uh, relationship, the friendly relationship with our grandchild in the village. And when that relationship got the snap broken, and when the narrator was sent to the city, yeah, how? What? Are, what was the reason for that? Uh, because the other parents called called them. Yes, I, but but then what was the reason? Did she like the teaching of Western science? No, not at all. So that she didn't like the teaching of Western science at the city school. So like that. She didn't like the teaching of Western science at the city school. She also disliked teaching of music there in the city school. You, you, brother, brother, you stand up, brother. What was the grandmother's reaction when the grandchild, whose one thing was shifted to the city along with her? What was her reaction? She. She didn't know the Western science. Yeah, yeah. So not the lower English. So not lower English. What's the lower English? No, not at all. Not at all. Sit up, sit up. You, you, you. Excellent. That part was almost revolting. Yeah, excellent. The, the narrator had seen the grandmother the same old and the lady for how many years? Tell me. So how could he believe? So he couldn't believe. 
thought was quite or almost revolting. Would have been pretty and beautiful. Yes. She more and wrinkled it for how many years? Last twenty years. Very good. Uh, rupees, one question. Ali, very good. Expression of. She looked very peaceful in her spotless white side. Sit down. She looked very peaceful in her spotless uh, white side. She, uh, her white hair is scattered over her face, looked like. A uh, white landscape in among the mountains. She looked a pure serenity, pure spiritual beauty. Yes, you're right. Yes. This is story is about who? Is he bare me? Yes, story is about who? Is he bare me? Is he bare me? The grandmother is bare me. Who is she? Or who? The two are you cannot tell. This is story is about the grandmother and whose one? Who is she? Who is she related to? Bare me. Great mother or a great child के बारे में कि किसी और के बारे में great child और parents का जो role होता है बच्चे के लिए कैसा होता है लाभिक है friend चलिए आप एक question है explain the line the thought was almost revolting The great the narrator had seen the great mother, the same old and uh, same old and for how many years? So it was difficult. I mean, I mean, explain uh, an expression of pure white serenity. <laughs> She looked spiritually beautiful or physically beautiful? No, spiritually beautiful. She was a spiritual beauty. Her white hair scattered over her face, untidy, looked like a landscape in winter among the Among the? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is the portrait of a lady? What kind of story? What kind of story is it? Or by graphical story? Is it about who? Who is the mother? 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 What is what has the writer done in this story? Writer has this story been kept here. Bond of relationship. Yes. What kind of woman was the great mother? Deeply religious, loving and caring parent, devoted to her grandchild, sensitive, and also spiritually beautiful. Spiritually. चलो ये स्टोरी किस दो आदमी के बारे में है कुशवंत सिंह के बारे में कुशवंत सिंह और केन मदर के बीच में कैसा रिलेशन है अब ये स्टोरी ऑटोबायोग्राफिकल है कि काल्पनिक है और इमेजिनेटिव है ऑटोबायोग्राफिकल है बैठे आखिर दी वाइफ आज तो थॉट रिवोल्टिंग थॉट रिवोल्टिंग तो था लास्ट बीस साल से नरेटर ग्रेट मदर को देख रहा है कोई चेंज पाता है कोई परिवर्तन पाता है तो बोलिए दी नरेटर हैड सीन दी ग्रेट मदर द सेम ओल्ड एंड रिंकल्ड लेडी फॉर द लास्ट ट्वेंटी इयर सो इट वाज वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू बिलीव फॉर ही दैट सी कूड हैव बीन यंग एंड प्रीटी सम टाइम एम आई
Thank you.